Hi, I'm Zach Dobson. I know you're not used to seeing me in front of the camera. Today we are starting a new series called Friday Photo Tips. I always enjoy talking about photography, helping people get better, and um, just getting more great photos out there in the world. So welcome to our first Friday Photo Tips. Um, today is part of a larger series where I'm going to talk more about how to shoot in that less than ideal super bright midday sun, which as photographers, it's not our favorite thing, but unless you want to miss out on about half of every day, you know, you got to have to learn to deal with it a little bit better. So there's a link to download our five tips for improving midday photography in the Instagram bio and uh, underneath on Facebook and YouTube. So you can download the whole series now, but today I'm going to be talking specifically about lens flare. It's very popular right now. It's a really cool trick that you can use to emphasize a bright sunny day. Don't overdo it, but it, it is cool for sure. I definitely use it sometimes. Um, that really comes from when a light source hits the surface of the lens, you start to get that kind of flare across there. And the more direct the source is and the brighter the source is, then the more dramatic the flare will be. So, uh, you know, we're mainly today talking about the kind of midday sun aspect of getting lens flare, but it does also apply to stage lights and um, stadium lights if you're shooting sports. So um, this will be helpful for those things as well. So um, wide angle lenses are a little more susceptible to that because you've got that larger surface area that it can hit. Um, you can also get kind of more subtle flare with a wide angle because um, it's not coming at such a harsh um, angle to get to the lens there. So what you need to do is when you're shooting is to have the light source in front of where the, the plane of your lens. So, um, and again, the further around it is, the more dramatic it will be. And what happens is, is it comes at an angle and it glances through and it'll create, the flare will come in, the light source is here, it'll come in at a line diagonally across the lens. And you can kind of think of the beam as like this pen. So if it's at this shallow angle, you kind of get this long line that goes from one side to another. As it comes around, further out in front of you and lower, it comes in at a, at a sharper angle. So you can kind of, you know, move your position to, to um, accentuate that or, or, or change its direction or make it more subtle or more dramatic. Um, you can kind of change your position. If you lie down on the ground when the sun's really high and you're looking up at more of an angle, um, it can become more pronounced. So just keeping that in, in front of you and the type of lens is going to affect that as well. So if you have a longer lens, it has less you know, it's, it's a lot flatter. It has less of an angle that it comes in. And then if you're like I am and typically shoot with the hood on there, then that um, cuts down on even more. You really got to have it coming, you know, most straight at you to get um, that sort of effect. So that's how you do it. Very simple. So give it a try over the weekend and make sure to tag the photos with hashtag ZDP photo challenge. I'll comment on those. I'll share some of them in the stories. If you thought this was helpful, please like the video, tag a friend who's one of us photo nerds, and be sure to share with your friends. Um, get a free download. You can get it through the blog. I've got a post up there about this um, topic, and um, also, again, in the bio, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. So I will see you next week with our next Friday photo tip. Until then, keep it real.